All right, so today what I want to show you is how to use the OPZ as your sequencer inside of Ableton Live. One of the first things that you'll want to do is open up your preferences. And under the link MIDI, um, what we're going to look for is the OPZ. You, you won't see it right now because it's actually turned off. So I'll turn it on. Okay. And so you'll see that it shows up as an input device. Um, you turn track, sync, and remote on. Honestly, I'm not sure when to turn remote on or off, but I just leave it on. It seems to always work. And then under control surfaces, under the input column, go ahead and select the OPZ as well. And then you can close that. Um, I've already got two MIDI channels here uh, activated, or two MIDI devices on. And what I want to do is I want to change the MIDI from to the OPZ. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, channel 5 and channel 6, which is the bass and lead, respectively. And then for the second MIDI instrument, I'm going to do OPZ, and then channel 6. And then monitor, I like, like to leave on because if I play from the um, OPZ, I want the sequencing information to go and play live directly on the instruments. So let's go pick two of my favorite instruments. I've got factory, and then let's close that, and then bring up pigments. Okay, now um, the OPZ, if I select channel 5, you should be able to hear it. I'm just going to change it to a different instrument. Well, let's try that sound. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, program a sequence on the OPZ. I'm going to go ahead and play that live. Please excuse my timing, but here goes. It is what it is. Okay, so for pigments, I'm going to select channel 6. And I can record some stuff. So let's stop this. All right, so basically what we've got, we've got factory, which is on channel five, being fed by the OPZ, and pigments, which is on channel six, being fed by the OPZ. Um, so that's basically how you set it up. Uh, another cool thing I wanna show you is how you can actually use the OPZ's encoders to do uh, uh, MIDI manipulation. So one of the things that we can do here is we open up this little panel on the factory device, Tap on configure and then pick the things that we want to manipulate. So I'm going to do cutoff, resonance, drive, the matrix, pan, and yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. And then up here in the upper right under MIDI Learn, tap on that. And just make sure that you have your base channel selected, which is channel 5, which I do. So for filter cutoff, I'm going to use the green encoder for resonance. I'll use the blue encoder. For drive, I'll use the yellow encoder. And then for the matrix, I'll use the red encoder. Oh, I've only got four encoders, but I've got five things I want to manipulate. So what do I do? Well, on the OPZ, we have actually four banks of uh, well, we have four encoders times four. So if I hit the up arrow, I go to the second set of banks, 
tap on pan, I can use the green button or the green encoder there. Get out of MIDI Learn, go ahead and open up Factory, and let's go back to the first set of banks. So I said green was cut off. You see that moving? I said blue was the resonance. You see that moving? I've got drive as my yellow, and then red is the matrix. So what's cool about that is if I hit play on the OPZ. So that is how you set up the OPZ inside of Preferences, Link MIDI, Input, just turn it on, Control Surface, OPZ, turn that on under the input. And then for MIDI from, specify the OPZ, and then specify the channels that you want to use, and then use your monitor in. And then that cool thing about configure to then pick the things that you want to actually manipulate and then you can then control those from the OPZ via MIDI Learn. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. Thanks.